So I'm here today to talk to you about something that happened to me today. And hopefully we'll tie it back in with you guys. So today I found myself feeling like an imposter, like a fraud. And it's not something that I feel a lot anymore. So it took me a minute to truly recognize what it was that I was feeling. Um, but I felt this insecurity as I was talking to a potential client. And I have not felt that about any of my potential clients for anything in a very long time. So it was very uncomfortable for me. And it reminded me, actually, of how far I've come. Of how different my life is than it ever was before. It reminded me of all the times in the past when I had felt like a fraud, when I had been pretty damn sure I was a fraud, when I didn't feel like I had anything of value to add to a conversation, even though I did. And <clears throat> it was really difficult to recognize and embrace how far I've come. It was really difficult to shine that spotlight on what was going on in my life. Um, it's funny because when we're in that moment and we're feeling that insecurity, we don't like to admit it, do we? We don't like to be like, oh, God, this feels amazing. Because it doesn't. It's embarrassing. And it's funny because the more embarrassed we get about it, the more self-conscious and insecure we get and the more self-conscious and insecure we get and the more embarrassed we get. And it's one of those vicious circles down the drain, right? Ugh. It didn't feel very good. <clears throat> so I just want you to hear that we all do this. We all have these moments where we like second guess ourselves. Hello, Roseanne. I have missed you in the calls. I hope things are going well with you. You need to send me a message and see how things are. I'm going to check in with you. Um, but yeah, so we find ourselves struggling a little bit. We find ourselves having moments where we're like, hmm, is this really, is this really me? Do I really deserve this? Am I really smart enough to have a seat at this table? Do other people really, are they going to believe me? Are they going to trust that I have things to say that are of value to them? Huh. That's going to feel weird, isn't it? And it's funny because um, everything that I said today, this woman was like, you're the expert, you're the expert, you're the expert. <laughs> and so at the end of the call, I felt pretty good. But coming into that call, I felt insecure. I felt less than. I felt judged a little bit. And it was very interesting because she's someone who I would ordinarily consider to be a much higher, let's go with higher, a much higher level than me when it comes to coaching, when it comes to all of this stuff. Hell, she's actually a psychologist. Oh, no, she, she's a psychiatrist maybe even. I mean, she's like, you know, she's got the education as well as the coaching. And I know I wanted to be a psychologist and I read enough books about it to do a damn good job, but I never took any of the classes. So I was letting my fear get to me. I was letting my uncertainty get to me. And it was really uncomfortable. And as we went along, the more times she said to me, you're the expert. I'm going to trust you with this. 
You're the expert. I'm going to trust you with this. The more comfortable and confident I felt. But those first few minutes, if I had been me before, those first few minutes, I would have let that tank the entire conversation. That entire conversation would have gone totally different and probably in a direction that would have confirmed the idea that I was less than, that I was not her equal, that I did not know what I was talking about, that I was a big fat fucking fraud. And I'm not. I know my shit. I'm good at what I do. And because I now have that confidence, that security of knowing, I, I am like a genius at what I do. My zone of genius, I have several of them. And damn, but I am not, I am amazing at the things that I'm good at. I know my weaknesses. And that's different from believing that you don't have any strengths. So here's something that I would love to have you guys do. Just love it. And it's going to be terrifying for you. But I challenge you. Do it here in the group even. I challenge you to write down a list of all the things that you are amazing at. Everything. Every single little thing. I can make a mean cup of coffee. I can't make coffee to save my soul, but you know, I cook like a dream. I'm really good at baking bread. I'm, I have amazing hair. I can coordinate outfits like crazy. I have a really organized house. I am a fabulous driver. I have a talent for this or a talent for that. Whatever it is, list it all down. The little stuff, I can match my socks in the morning. Woohoo! <laughs> Sometimes I wear matching underwear sets. Woohoo! <laughs> All the things, whether they are good things, whether they are mediocre things, list them out. List them here. Brag a little bit. Tell people how amazing you are. And then anytime you feel like a fraud, I want you to remember that you wrote down a big fucking list. A great, big, juicy list with some amazing amazing attributes and talents things that maybe you didn't even consider that you had until I made you write them down maybe you are the person that it, everybody comes to to open the jar of pickles because you are like the pickle god or goddess okay maybe you're the pickle goddess maybe you are the person who can turn a potato a carrot and mystery meat into a four course dinner for six maybe you are the person who is always available to help other people and to listen to their problems maybe you're the person who cares maybe your kids fucking adore you whatever it is write it down remember it celebrate it hell once you've made your list put it in here and then laminate that sucker and bring it with you everywhere until you have it memorized and you know just how amazing and special and unique and incredible you are what a gift you are to the world because you really are an amazing incredible and special gift to the world and don't you ever Doubt that for a second. Don't you ever not believe that for a second. You deserve all the amazing things in this world, all of them. So please, please write your list. As you write your list, 
really live it. Accept that those things are part of you and that you are that amazingness, that you are worthy and that you're not a fraud. If anything, you are far too modest and you deserve all the amazingness the world has to give you. And on that note, I'm gonna take off for the night. So wherever you are in this big, beautiful, amazing world, have a fabulous evening. Enjoy whatever weather you've got going on. Think about the fact that we are on this little teeny tiny blue rock, hurtling at thousands and thousands of miles per second around a slightly bigger rock that's molten <laughs> and that um you know not too many days ago we had a close encounter with an asteroid that could have ended it all and it didn't so it's a good day it's a very good day i know kind of gloomy but that's okay and just think about how small we are and the miracles and flukes that it took to get us here and to keep us here. That's all I'm asking for. So on that note, I will talk to you guys on Thursday night on our coaching call. Don't, don't be shy. Show up. Show up for yourselves. Um, I will see you tomorrow night in the shift. I will see you Wednesday night in book club because most of you signed up for book club. Don't forget about book club, okay? Because we're not having great turnouts there, but the book's freaking awesome. And you guys, you guys are the ones who are so ready to read this book and really get it. So I'm encouraging all of you, read this book and really let's pick it apart and take it all in and figure out how to really create your future life using the Celestine Prophecy and the Power of Now. Fabulous books. Okay. Ciao, Bella. Bye.